Welcome to Door Fortress. I am Twisted Logic. In this tutorial fortress let's play episode I'm going to be fixing this water here to make the fortress a little bit more secure. I'm also going to be making a trap for mega beasts that will attack the fortress later on. Setting up some pigtail cloth and I'm not 100% sure what else is going to come up but we're going to see. So if you enjoy the video hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and subscribe for more videos. With this water here, I should have built a grate in this U-pipe so that way if a monster or something swims into the fortress, they're gonna swim in and then hit the grate, the floor grate right there and then not be able to go any further, but I skipped that. So what I'm gonna do is um, build a wall over here if I can. Now, you can't normally build on top of water tiles unless they're one, they're only a one in depth. So I'm going to try to build a um, wall right here and fill out blocks. Now, I let the game run for a little bit to fill this up. Now it's the first of spring. And I'm also going to dig out here and remove this door. I have another door down here. And this is going to allow for the water to evaporate a little bit. And yeah, I just let the game run maybe uh, about a week since the last video just to let this fill up a little bit and then I realized that um, the fortress had a vulnerability that I wasn't happy with so we're gonna fix that shortly. I'm also gonna go to this level and build a farm plot here. And I'm gonna dig out a space here. Alt M for box select. I added this grate, that was the only thing that uh, you missed from the last video. I added this floor grate so nobody would fall temporarily. It's going to be a well soon. And I also let the game run for about a week or so to let this fill up a little bit more. Now this, I want to build a wall right here. Just forbidding and unforbidding the stones in this area. So you press F to forbid and F to claim. Just to clear the uh, tasks on those stones. Now I'm going to dig... I think from here. Fifteen by eleven. And then get rid of that. here, I'm just going to remove some of these ramps here to give this structure a little bit more shape. So this is going to be um, more like a Mayan pyramid than an Aztec. Not sure if I'm going to keep these floors here. And I'm going to see Give some smooth stoning jobs. Turn the priority back to normal. I messed up. Okay, remove all that. Smooth stone. There. to the inside here.
So I want to make a mega beast trap. Uh, I am going to dig a tunnel over here. Something like that. I'm going to add another lever to this room. And I'm going to add a bridge here. A chain with an animal on it. A sacrificial animal. And um, when a hydra or a dragon or something attacks, we'll get inside the fortress and close it up. We'll open up this area. And they will come in. And once they're around the animal here, we'll close them up. And then when a goblin army comes, we can release it. Okay, so this area here, I can build a bridge. And I'm going to have that open to the right. here. There's fine. And I can even dig in dig in here a little bit more for some more stone. Okay, so this farm is complete. And looks like the graphics got a little messed up in the wall here, but that's fine. For spring here, we're not going to grow anything. So I'm not going to do any settings for spring. B for summer. And I'm going to do pigtails. C for autumn. Pigtails. And D for winter. And we're not going to set anything here. At the farmer's workshop here. I'm gonna add a new task to spin thread. Repeat that. Okay, I think we can do the workflow for that once we get some once we get some plants and you know what I also need a seed stockpile so where can that be maybe here This can make it a room. Set that as a dormitory. Smooth stone this layer. And I'm gonna start need I'm gonna start building some uh, cabinets. some also some coffers as well cabinets are cabinets and coffers are like boxes you can also use um, bags counters coffers as well it's a place for them to put their stuff in in different rooms, the uh, temples like to have coffers, 
as well as the bedrooms. You can also put some in the barracks if you'd like. And I'll put some items in there. Can remove this building. Remove the temporary workshops out here. Okay, so build, construct wall. I want a tunnel that comes into the bottom here. Uh, J for downstairs. And now I'm going to have to put a bridge in here. So that way I can close off this tunnel as well. Now I don't have a refuse stockpile yet. And I'm going to just make a temporary one out here. I'll make it over here across the water, across the brook. Dig a uh, dig a room over down this way for a real refuse stockpile. Something like that. Petition request up here. Illisope. Illisope here wants to uh, join the fortress to eradicate monsters. I'm gonna. So, this is a human or um, dwarf adventure, maybe an elf, who knows? We could look at him. And um, he wants to join the fortress for the purpose of eradicating monsters. If you approve that, then he's going to live in your fortress and I think take a room and also eat your food and drink your beer. He may fight with your dwarves and he's going to go into the caverns first chance he gets. So I'm going to deny for now. So B to deny. Also going to build some, I'm going to dig out some other kind of large rooms. Yeah, 11 by 11s. Just for, um, I won't connect it yet, but just in case some, some request comes up or, uh, for a guild hall or for another temple. Okay, so this is now, the bridge is complete. I'm gonna build a door. And I'll put that right here. And then also add a task to link the bridge. So now that we have more than one bridge, I can 
select the bridge with the plus and minus and it's gonna highlight it and the bridge is gonna be flashing. I build a wall right here behind this door. So if a creature can swim and come into our reservoir here, or the, down our tunnel here, and is also a building destroyer, which means that um, goblins can't destroy buildings. Goblins wouldn't be able to do this, but maybe uh, some forgotten beast or um, some kind of swimming building destroyer. So not all creatures, but they'd be able to break that door. Now we have it walled off. Test this, test this lever and bridge by pulling the lever. Okay, bridge is closed, that's great. And I'm gonna build a new furniture stockpile here. to remove um, the stock bar. Get rid of that. Go into the settings here and D to disable furniture and CGMO. Another petition here. Yeah, I don't want an adventurer to join right now, so any kind of um, petition that comes in, I'm just going to deny it for now. I'm going to build a bridge right here. And that's going to open to the left. Okay, so now I can remove this construction. I'm gonna build a stockpile up here for food. The settings of this stockpile is going to... I'm gonna press F. to forbid everything. And plants here is just going to allow pigtail. Now this stockpile here, I'm going to go into the settings of this one. And plants. And turn disable pigtail, just pigtail right there. Just go to it, press enter. on this. This is going to be another food stockpile here. Settings of this one. I'm going to forbid everything except seeds. This food stockpile and forbid seeds. Build a um, construction 
X for an up down stair. I made the bottom part of the stairs out of wood, but I'm not really going to worry about the materials for the uh, stair here. Floor, and I'm just going to go around the um, inside. Okay, so pile, stockpile, refuse, set that here. I'm also going to turn on corpses, enable. And I'm going to build some doors. Still mining work to do. build a bridge over top of these stairs instead. And I'll make that a retract bridge. So a retract bridge right on top of the stairs here instead. And this one will actually just remove. This way I can build some rooms off of the side here. I gotta go to Dwarf Therapist because my miners here are uh, constructing buildings. I'm gonna sort this by total assigned labors and turn construction deconstruction off on these guys. These guys here, I'm gonna, let's see, cooking, architecture, I'll make two of them, two of them builders, and two of them I will make stewards. 
miners are gonna turn turn off all that for miners the builders are not gonna refuse all it either and I'll turn off stone hauling for the stewards as well as cleaning for the builders now I'll update. Okay. Deny. Deny. And deny. Now, are those guys on the map? Yeah, there's three human crossbowmen, human bowmen, and another crossbowman. There's also two trolls. We're gonna zoom to them. Okay, now trolls are building destroyers. But the cavern layer is sealed off right now. Okay, F1. Some more migrants. C is off, M is off. Okay. Great cook, competent spinner. So I'm gonna need to set up a um, more of a cloth, more of a cloth industry. Take a five by five here. There. Okay, so he's just deconstructing right now. And now that that's open, we can build a wall in front of the door here. Now I could hook up uh, multiple bridges to this level here. So I'm gonna add a task bridge. one is still being constructed. No, it's not. It's made. Okay. Add a task bridge. Now, it's only gonna... This list here is only gonna allow you to select a bridge that hasn't been hooked up. So, this bridge here is not gonna be selectable because it's already there. So, this one here... not right. This one retracts, so if I pull the lever it opens, and this one will be closed. So this is going to need its own lever. But you know what I could do is pull this lever here. already closed off. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Cancel that. Let this fill up. And uh, this is going to need its own lever here. Yeah, 
that's fine. Another petition. Okay, guild hall for the Misty Guild. Um, has many members. The Misty Guild has many members in basement graves of beers. Now requires a guild hall. Location must be built and furnished. With the guild hall designed for a farmer's guild. Okay, yeah, we'll prove that. So they want a farmer's guild. Maybe here? Maybe here? Yeah, I think instead of a temple, we'll make this room here a farmer's guild. I'm not 100% sure what that needs, but... Um, okay, it's already going to be smooth stoned. So the looms will allow us to make cloth from the thread. And then a clothier's shop workshop. So collection of webs is pretty is going to be automatic default. You can also weave cloth from plant thread, silk cloth, cloth from hair or wool, and metal cloth. If I go into orders, so O for orders, and then Shift W for workshop orders, I have it. Auto loom dyed thread. I, I did that in an earlier video. If I press L, it's going to auto loom all the thread. I don't want all my thread auto loomed. No auto loom you can also set. But I want auto loom dyed thread. And this use any cloth. That's going to be for um, the cloth ears workshop. And I can also turn off auto collect webs here. Now I'm going to need a fishery as well. Because I want to set up a few of these new migrants to fish so we can get some shells. So, where can I put that? Maybe right back here. The shells are going to be needed for um, strange moods. Need to build a lever in there.
So if a monster comes, we're going to need to flip all three of these levers. If a monster... Right before I build that. So this lever is that bridge. Lovers is this one. And I actually want to um, take a little room off to the side here so that way I know. I know that this lever is for this room. So this lever is not hooked up to anything, and I know that because I can go to all three bridges. PX to remove designation. Workshop uh, fishery is H. The fishery is going to be automatic. And I can also make an unprepared fish stockpile if I wanted to, maybe back here. I for zones. And I'll make a zone here. And this will be a meeting spot. Location. Add. Craft guild hall. Okay. So what was that? A farmer's? Farmer hall. Enter. Fragmented syrup. Okay. And I'm going to go to Dwarf Therapist and check out the migrants. Okay, so read. Okay, we got a lot of them now. So, migration wave. 23 in that last migration wave. Hunting's off. Good animal trainer here. Pretty good cook as well. Right here. Okay, so he's going to be a steward. No skills on this guy. Just... Make them all haulers for now. set up like maybe a couple of them to fish and these guys have to be fish cleaning and oops stewards here I to make them fish clean dissection I, I meant to set that earlier but I didn't uh, Update custom progression. Okay. Deny. 
Okay, Crafts Dwarf Guild. Guess I'll approve that. I'm gonna have to look up what these uh, guild halls need. I don't know if they need tables or anything. I for zones, and we'll just zone this one out. Meeting spot, location, head. G for the guild hall, and we'll find craft door here. I don't know, I might be able to layer on top Craft Dwarf and then Mason on the same hall. I don't know if I could do that either. Set up the food stockpile here. And this is going to be... I'm going to press U. Oh, you know what, I got to go to the other food stockpiles and press U for disabling prepared food here. I'm going to forbid everything except for unprepared fish in this one. This stockpile settings, press U, and this stockpile settings, and press U. Oh, it looks like the um, the uh, pull hatched. So once they uh, once they grow up, we'll start butchering them. Build a lever up here. Great. So this is dug out here. Build a bridge over here. And I'm gonna have this open. I'm gonna have this raised to the um, to the north. So it's gonna raise up to the top of the map here. I'll put it like right here. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more videos.